Hi, this is Brad from Power Tools. In this video, we're going to go through some of the theme settings that come with the filter menu on a standard theme install. So let's go to Online Store, and then Themes, and then go to Customize Theme. This will load up your theme, and you probably then want to go into a collection page. Okay, so here we have the filter menu, and uh, under General Settings, Filter Menu, we have all the filter menu settings. So, for example, we can uncheck the Refine section, which is this part here, and you'll notice it goes away. Um, we can click it and it'll come back. Uh, let's uncheck the Show Current Collection, and I'll just show you what that is. So, this is a collection here that is not part of the filter menu, and you'll notice it appears down the bottom. If we save these settings and then reload you'll notice it doesn't show up if we select a collection which then we have to go back in when you'll notice there's a few buttons here so this is the we can get rid of the clear buttons or if we just want to get rid of the view all button which is that one there uh, we can do that um, put them both back on and then if we clear all the filters you'll notice there's collection counts here so we can disable that turn it back on uh, we can uh, show groups with only one item in them or you can uncheck that if you don't want groups with only one item showing uh, this option here allows only a single uh, selection per group. So for example, if you were selecting um, a, um, uh, if you wanted to enable multiple selections per group, this is the option you would disable. The filters we've got set up here don't really work particularly well with it, but I'll show it to you anyway. We can do it on the size filters. So for example, we have product with size 6 and then these are the products now the thing to note is that this is an and style filter so this will be the products that are size 5 and 6 so it's probably size is not a good example of, of when you would use it so we'll leave that checked um, we can show the unused tags in the tag group down the bottom I think we need to save that before that'll show up because it needs to reload the page. Okay, we'll click on it. Oh, and it doesn't even want to do that. Let's go into snowboards. Okay, so these are the, the tags within the snowboard group that are just free floating. They're not attached to the filter menu in any way. Now, as we can see, this size group is pretty unmanageable, so we may want to scroll it if it gets too big. Now let's just clear this off so we can see lots of filters. And you can see now that the size group is scrolling. The last option in this section is the inactive filters. So this shows all the filters that um, uh, have no matching products. So for example, if we go into jackets, it still shows all the other types and all the brands that you have on your store, but not necessarily in jackets. Uh, if you want to customize the text, you can do that here. So perhaps you want to change this to filters, and that'll be this text here, you can also change all of this text as well. Uh, if you want to change the look, so for example, let's give it everything a bit of a, you know, a bit of a blue tinge, maybe a bit more navy. I'm not sure that this is the best design, but <laughs> you get the idea. And we can change the font size, so we can make them really big. It's not good. Something a bit more manageable like that, and you can change the font. Uh, let's 
it's going to be, yeah, there we go, that's looking not too bad. Change the filters, and maybe the hover color as well. If we want to hide the checkboxes, we can do that. So, and we can also customize the clear buttons in the same way. So maybe we'll go for a blue, with a nice light blue text. Maybe a bit lighter. Yeah, there we go. And we can also change the hover effect. Okay, so in this case, we may want to show some filters as small boxes. So let's try it with the size filters. Try that, and you can notice these now come up as, as boxes, which is quite nice. Uh, we may want to show perhaps the brand group as two columns. I'll just reload the page for that one. So there we go, on, on the live site we can see that's working. Not sure why the editor is not displaying that correctly. So we also have color swatches here. So if we type in color, let's maybe view a few more. Products. If we scroll down, oh, that's all the sizes, and we have a bunch of color swatches here. Now, there's a few settings. We can have round swatches, we can have swatch plus the text, or the swatch plus the text, but round. So let's go with the swatch only. And perhaps we don't like one of the colors here, so perhaps we don't like the purple color. Or perhaps there's not a, a color mat. We can go find that. So we'll go find purple. And we'll give it a bit of a nicer purple. There we go. So that, in summary, is the theme settings for the filter menu. If your theme also has the mobile accordion, then there are some settings for that. So we'll set it to the small screen mode. You can see that's the options there. You can change what width it displays out, what the text is, uh, how much you want to move it up and down, how much you want the text to move up and down, and the font. For example, like that. So that concludes the theme settings that are available within the filter menu. Thanks for watching.